The wolf saved children who fell through the ice, mistaking them for puppies. It was back in Soviet times, at times when only a few people at school had colored pencils. As children, we were mischievous and always got into trouble. Back then, the winters were more severe and snowy, not like now, where there is no snow in January. The forest was also full of animals, both predators and horned cows. Now I am old and grumpy, but I always remember this accident with a smile and think how lucky we were back then. Well, it was then a sunny January day. The three of us, me and my two best friends, Sanya and Petka, instead of helping around the house, we really wanted fun and new feelings. In short, we wanted some kind of adventure. Having gathered in the evening, we decided to go sledding together. And so that we would not be considered slackers, we decided to go further from the village. Zazawudolo is the second part of our lake, surrounded by a slope. No people there, the village is two to three kilometers away. Nobody will see or hear us, and the slopes there are not the same as in the village. They are steep and immediately descend onto the ice. It seemed to us the perfect plan. Inspired by this, we got there quickly and began to ride. Yes, this is definitely not a slope in the village itself. Everything was going great. Our cheeks are red and happiness on our face. We decided that all three of us will ride the same sleigh together, but did not notice, or rather we didn't even know one fact. Where we drove down the hill on the lake was the mouth of the river. The ice there was much thinner, and of course, as soon as we slid onto the ice, it could not stand it. It cracked terribly. The three of us fell through the ice. The depth was two meters from the shore. We grabbed the edges of the ice and tried to get out, but it was all in vain. We began to call for help, but the village was two kilometers away and no one could hear us. It was unlikely that someone would have heard us, but we did not give up. After about two to three minutes, my legs began to go numb. Probably, what I will tell you next will seem fictional to you, but everything was exactly like that. A she-wolf came running to our cries. At least, I personally think that it was a she-wolf, not a wolf. She came to the shore, stood there, and thought for a couple of seconds, looked at us carefully, and took a step onto the ice. After we froze, we did not think that she had come to save us. Parents told how wolves are dangerous, that you need to stay away from them, and if you meet a wolf, then kindle a fire. Fear gripped us. Apparently, the she-wolf mistook us for puppies, for foolish puppies who, by some miracle, found themselves in the icy water. The first person she approached was Sanya. She grabbed his cape on his back with her teeth and began to drag. Her claws firmly got into the ice. Sanya just had to help himself a little with his hands, and he was on the surface. We ordered him to crawl to the shore. Petka was next in line. The she-wolf pulled me out last. As soon as I got to the surface, I passed out. Eventually, I woke up lying on the stove at home. As it turned out later, a man who was walking along the road from a neighboring village to ours was hearing us. Going down the slope to the lake, he saw three children on the shore who could not move. He took us all upstairs, put us in our sleigh, and took us to our village. Of course, our parents scolded us. Unfortunately, no one believed that the wolf saved us. And now, years later, I remember this accident and wonder how lucky we were back then. Thank you.